I was raised in a predominantly white neighborhood with religion. I went to school with mostly white kids and I never saw myself and my friends in media and I never felt that I was good enough or beautiful enough. And as I've grown up, I've learned how to love myself. For me, it's taken me nearly 40 years to be comfortable in the skin I'm in. I think um, one thing in particular about being a black woman is that we have curves and they're beautiful and they're luscious. And it took me a long time in my life to come to that place of loving my curves. I grew up in a predominantly white area and I didn't see beautiful people that looked like me. And I didn't get that feedback from my peers the boys like the other girls or the white girls. Where I don't really fit into any certain category that's a majority here, I've really learned to love myself for who I am and all my features and things like that, even though it's not the mainstream and generally what I see around me. To get to the nitty gritty of it, I didn't have a choice to be a black woman. I had no choice but to learn to love being a black woman. So my book is called Not A Real Black Girl. I'm slowly finding out who I am. I've been told a lot that I'm not a real black girl. And in this book, I'm going to prove what being black actually means and what it means to me. Oftentimes I am the first or the only African-American woman in professional settings. It holds a weight for me. I know the responsibility that I have for the next generation. Sometimes we try to separate so many different things in our culture of blackness but to embrace the black womanhood is embracing like our true selves and our ancestors and that um, opportunity to really come into a space of um, wholeness. The reason why I did this documentary is because I wanted to showcase black women's beauty. I think sometimes we get the wrong representation in media um, and in, in, in song, when it, if it's songs or movies, and I wanted to show a different side of us, the side that everyone should see and how we appreciate and love ourselves despite the struggles and to just be able to talk about and laugh. I love our laughter. We are so loud, and but it's so joyous and I, that's why I wanted to get us all together.